itsy bitsy spiders crawling up the tree. I don't know what he's doing, but he's looking at me. Oh, hey there. How you doing? It's me, your old buddy Kent. Kent, hear ya. I'm 91 and one quarter years old, and I'm a little bit hard of hearing. So, I'm gonna need you to speak up, but I am here to teach you today's power verse. Today's power verse says, Go out and urge anyone you find to come so that the house will be full. Luke 14, 23. Well, isn't that an awesome power verse? I tell you what I need you to do. I need you to help me say it, but I'm a little bit hard of hearing, so I need it to be loud, okay? So stand up on your feet and get ready to say the power verse with me loud. If we get my loud -o meter all the way up to 10, then we get to do something fun to my nephew. Jody said he wants to use an earwax candle. So, here we go, on the count of three. One, two, three. Go out and urge anyone you find to come so that the house will be full. Luke 14, 23. That was pretty good, but I still can't hear you. <laughs> Get it? I need it to be even louder this time. So let's try it again and say it loud. Ready? One, two, three. Go out and urge anyone you find to come so that the house will be full. Luke 14, 23. Great job, you may have a seat. Hey, here comes my nephew now. Boys and girls, I want you to meet my nephew, Jody. Uncle Kent, my name is Odie. Okay, whatever. Listen, you remember the other day whenever you said you wanted to use an earwax candle? I never said I wanted to use an earwax candle. My partner at school for a project said he wanted to make stuff up. I said we have to use the mere facts, Randall. Not use an earwax candle. Mere facts, Randall. Well, I heard earwax candle and I already promised the kids. Oh, no, so no. Oh, bend over, on. buddy. Oh, We're oh, gonna stick oh, this right oh, in here. No. Oh, oh, oh. You need to go light it now. <laughs> Don't get any on the carpet. Well, boys and girls, you've done a great job and I can't wait till next time. I'll see you later, but I can't hear you. <laughs>